Can you guys hear my son? He is so loud. I just want to be like, be quiet. I'm filming. Why? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Avla and Polka Dots and my name is Kerr. And on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. Hola a todos y bienvenidos a mi canal, Avla and Polka Dots. Me llamo Kerr y en este canal hablamos de maquillaje, cuidado de piel y belleza. Entonces, si eso es algo que te gusta, has venido a hablar, has venido al lugar correcto. Woo! No me recuerda nada. Lo siento. Ok. Uh, empezamos porque tengo muchas cosas. Let's begin because I have a lot of stuff here. So, in no particular order. Ok. We're just, we are grabbing stuff. Look. Ok. You with me? This bag is heavy. <laughs> so, uh, we're just going to grab stuff out of this bag. Now, I can say that not everything in here came from Ulta, but the things that didn't come from Ulta, they came from Target. Also, if you see me in another video with the exact same outfit on, mind your business. I am trying to catch up on filming because I have had a fantastic life transition where I've moved into my dream job. Yay! And I have not had time to film. You guys probably didn't notice though, because I filmed so far ahead that I still have videos that are going to be coming up all the way through probably the end of January before I have to film again. Like for example, today is December 20th and I have no idea when this video is going up. So just know I'm going to keep the content going and we're just, we're going to do this together. We're going to keep growing the channel. We're going to have fun and do what we do. Okay. Enough with that. So first, I ran out of the little the little black rubber bands that I normally use. When I um like after I've washed and twisted my locks, sometimes I'll braid them up into bigger braids because I like that kind of wavy look that it looks like afterwards when it's dried. And when I do that, I use these black rubber bands because I leave it in the braids for a few days and I feel like these blend in well with my hair. Well, I ran out, so I grabbed some more. Exciting, I know. And then also that was, um, that for sure was over at Target. And I think I grabbed these at Target too. So at Target, I always forget they have like this whole giant section of elf. And for some reason I walked by this time and was like, oh yeah, that's right. They have a bunch of elf stuff. So I grabbed, let's see, what did I pick up from elf? A couple things. So I picked up the elf clear brow and lash mascara. Right now, I'm using a different brow, um, what do you call it? This one from NYX. I've been using this brow, <laughs> Thick It, Stick It, I think is what it's called. This one, I've been using this one in my brows, but I wanted something that was clear. If you've been uh, following my channel for a while, you know that my eyebrows are tattooed. So really, this is just like to like make the brows kind of spiky. I like that look. So I figured I'd grab these because this was very inexpensive. I think it was like three bucks. Gotta love Elf, right? Okay, and then also I picked up another color corrector because right now apparently I'm obsessed with trying to figure out which color corrector works best for me. I've been using the one from Milani I really love. And of course I've had the one from LA Girl. Is it LA? Yeah, LA Girl forever, but I've been trying to explore other color correctors. So this is the camo color corrector in the shade orange. And this has been around for a minute now, so I'm hoping this works well. I got to do a shop my stash video. You guys, I have so much stuff sitting here. If you could see how many boxes I had off camera, you would be like, what have you been up to? <laughs> I have so I have a pile of stuff here to haul for you guys. So I have to break this down into multiple videos because it's just too much. I don't want you having to like sit here hanging out with me for hours and hours to talk about all the stuff that I hauled. So I'm just breaking it down into multiple videos. Yes. Okay. So for Elf, I also grabbed the 16 hour camo concealer. This time I picked it, picked it up in the shade um, Deep Chestnut. Yeah. Here's the thing. I've had this concealer before and I had the other version before, but for some reason it just was like, I don't know. It just didn't work for me. 
So because these products are so inexpensive, I thought maybe I would give it another try. Maybe it was the formula, maybe it was the shade, but how, explain to me how this is deep chestnut. Somebody, anybody, explain to me how this is deep anything. Are you, do you see, are you picking up what I'm putting down? This is not deep anything for anybody, elf. You're tripping with this name, Deep Chestnut. I'm just putting it out there. You're tripping. This is not deep. This is what the color looks like. It's like a, a light sandy color. So I'm hoping that it works well as a concealer because I'm always on the hunt for like the best concealer in the world. Right now, I'm super duper in love. Actually, I'll tell you about it in a second because I just bought the other shade. I'll tell you about the one I'm in love with in a second. Let's finish this part. I know I'm just all over the map. You guys I have not filmed for like weeks and weeks and weeks. Again, you wouldn't have noticed because videos are going up every week anyway. So I grabbed a new brush from e.l.f. I have a ton of e.l.f. brushes, but I don't have this one. This is the buffing foundation brush. And it's got like that kind of nice sort of soft rounded. It just, I guess it's, it's supposed to be for buffing. So here's what I've been using, but I feel like it's too like flat. There's something about this brush that's like so, so when I'm buffing in my foundation or whatever I'm using, it just kind of is like, it's not a bad brush. It's a good brush. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's a rounded brush, but I needed something I think that was perhaps a little less stiff. So I grabbed this one and I'm hoping that it works well. And then I also picked up the, the same one. That's right. I had thought about grabbing a different brush, but when I looked at them, I realized that I would probably prefer this one. So I just bought two of the same brush. All right, moving on. <laughs> so that concealer I was telling you about that I'm so in love with, it's the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now I have mine that I've been using since over the summer. Here, this one. I have it in the shade Maple, but I live in Seattle and I'm not sure if you guys are aware, we really don't have much sun for most of the year. So anything that you buy for summer is, is not gonna work for the winter. It's not. It's not going to work. So you've got to pick up something that's a bit lighter. I can't believe I just did this while I was talking to you guys. Look at this. This is the color corrector I told you guys I have been loving, but it's like leaking everywhere. So this is the Milani one I use all the time. That I always complain to you guys about the packaging. That's this one right here. But yeah, it's not, it's not working for your girl. It's really not. Look at that. It's leaking all over the place. Can you see that? It's like all over my stuff. I don't like that. I don't want it to be messy. I like it to be neat and organized. Okay, I wiped that off. We're fine, we're back on track. Let's let's get back to focusing her. Okay, anyway, so the point is, I really love this concealer, but I needed to get it in a lighter size, so I picked it up in a lighter size, lighter color, lighter shade, lighter hue. I picked it up in this one. Hold on now, hold on. Don't let this frosted bottle fool you, okay? Because I'm wearing this concealer today. I'm wearing it today. It's just these frosted bottles, like they, they have your girl tripping sometimes. Like you, you look at it and it's like, oh, it's not gonna work for me until you open it and then you're like, oh, okay. So this is again, caramel. See what I mean? It's fine. So this is caramel. It's working well for me. Like I said, I opened it this morning because I didn't want to wait to haul it to use it. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing right now. I know my face is very dewy, <laughs> but I like that look. I like that kind of like glowy sorta. Maybe I should blot a little bit. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine, we're friends. You guys know me, you've seen me before. So apparently I went crazy and bought two more of this foundation from ColourPop. It's the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. I grabbed my winter shade because I've been using the crap out of this stuff. I love it. This is um, 147W, which is medium dark. It's this one right here. I have been using this foundation like it is going out of style. I've used it so much that I'm like, 
even though you can't see through this bottle, I know I'm probably already down to about here. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That's why there's backups. Um, let's see. I'm not sure how I even got this. Probably from like a gift with purchase is my guess. But Mac, <laughs> in their gift with purchase, you guys, look at this. This is a fix plus. I have to open this. Hold on. Hold on. There is no way. Are you serious? Look at this. This is five milliliters, you guys. It's like a perfume sample, but it's fix plus. It's so tiny that I probably use five mils over the course of like a couple days. This, there's this, I don't think this would last me for a week. <laughs> But I bet it's really nice to travel with. <laughs> so, okay, I guess we'll we'll save this in our, um, I have like a drawer where I keep a whole bunch of samples and I'll just pop this in there and then I'll just use it for that. And then likewise, they gave me a mascara. This one is the MAC Super Stack Mega Brush Mascara. Here's the picture of it and then here's the actual mascara I guess I don't think it looks the way that the other one looks because it's got like that little silver ball on it but if you take this out there we go this is what the sample looks like I've heard of this but I never I didn't really consider purchasing it so it's nice to have a sample I'll put this in my drawer and I'll just bust this out and use it and see what it see what it do Okay, so I grabbed a Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder Foundation from Amazon. I know this is from Amazon. And I picked it up in the color Golden Honey. Because, you know, when you shop online, you just can't tell. And I'm not sure if this is going to be the right color for me. Because I feel sometimes like when I buy powder foundations, if I don't go... A shade lighter it always ends up being too dark on me so because this looks like it's the right color for me it's probably a little bit too dark so you'll see it in a video we'll try it out and see what it's like but I grabbed this because Nana on her channel swears by it and her makeup turns out beautifully so I thought I would try that out okay we have a host of palettes here let's move that out of the way so um, this first one and second one, actually, I have two here, are from Lorac. It's the Pro Palette, and this one is in Noir. And Lorac makes some of the best eyeshadow formulas, period. They've been around for a long time for a reason, you guys. They just have the, a really high-quality product. This is what the palette looks like. And then here is the inside. Now, if you do buy Lorac palettes, they do come with mirrors, but they also have like this little piece of paper that tells you like what the names of the shadows are. I never keep that. I always end up throwing it away. But this is what it looks like. Yes, it's a neutral palette, but you guys know I love neutrals. And so a neutral palette suits me. I wear neutrals all the time. I have neutrals on right now. So yeah, this, I don't know what else to say. You guys will see this in a video. The Rock just makes a beautiful, high quality product. If you are looking for um, an eyeshadow palette that's kind of a one and done, that will have everything that you need in it, I say check out the Lorac shadows for sure. Their formula is really buttery. It's creamy. They have um, what I believe to be the best mattes in the business. Just I don't know what their secret sauce is for making matte eyeshadows, but they do have the best mattes in the business. I can confidently say that. And I'm saying that even after having used like um, Natasha Denona, Viseart, I'm telling you, Lorac makes the best mattes. They just, they do. And that's all there is to it. And that's that on that. So the other palette that I grabbed from Lorac is the Soleil. So you have a uh, noir, right? Yeah, you have noir and soleil. 
and this one would be the sunnier version of the two palettes. And again, it's got that little piece of paper that has the, I don't understand why it has the description of the shadows on it. I just, come on guys, just print it on the palette, please. And this is obviously, again, Soleil would be the lighter version. So you have more of your like coppers and um, your, what else is in here? Coppers and golds and kind of your rose golds, that kind of thing. So yeah, another beautiful neutral palette. Just, it's lovely, it really is beautiful. Um, okay, now let's see. We have a, ah, this is the palette that I bought. This is the Mac palette because that's where those gift with purchase came from. I was like, what did I buy from Mac? Girl, I have done so much shopping over the past few months. It's like, I need to be in some kind of program or something. Um, this is the, what's one is this? This is one of the Connect and Color palettes from Mac and it is the Unfiltered Nudes. Their packaging is gorgeous. To my knowledge, they have not actually come out with new shadows. They just are repackaging them. And I'm fine with that because Mac, again, just like Lorac, they've been around for a long time for a reason. They have some of the best shadows in the business. I mean, they just do. And again, yes, it is another neutral palette, but I'm a neutral girl. I love neutral palettes. I have tons of colorful, bright and cheery palettes. You guys know I love making looks with those. I love wearing them, they're so much fun. But my default, my super duper comfort zone is always going to be in just a neutral palette. I don't know why, um, but this one is gorgeous and I can't wait to use it. You guys will see me use these all in videos. So if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I do, um, share videos where I will do a look with the palettes that I haul so you guys will see these coming up because I'm like I don't want to just haul it and not show you guys like the look that I make with it I think it's always fun to at least show you that part of it lastly we have two palettes here both of them are from Milani one of them I'm telling you I think I've already owned this palette I don't know we'll see I, I should go back through my old videos and see because I'm telling you I'm pretty sure I've owned one of these already, but whatever. This is the Milani Ungilded Most Loved Mattes. That's this one right here. And this is the inside. And yes, I know, it's just, it's another neutral palette, but this one has um, all mattes. And I wanted to see if I could find a palette that was all mattes that could... Um, kind of take the place of my makeup by Mario palette. I love that palette, but I don't want to travel with it. And I do travel. And sometimes I just want to have a nice matte look to go for without any kind of fuss, anything extra. And I felt like this one might actually fill that void for me. So that's the Milani one. And this is also from Milani as mentioned. And this is the Gilded Terra palette. So I think they, um, had like the the gilded palette and now these are the success successive yeah successive successive palettes that came after that these are like the like in perfume you have flankers I think that's what these are so that's what this one looks like I know they still have the plastic on it but I'm not gonna take it off right now and this one is not it's neutral ish but it has pops of color in it yes <laughs> it's neutral but it's got like look it's got like the green and the purple so it's got kind of um jewel tones that's a better way to describe it this palette has some neutrals in it but definitely has a good grouping of jewel tones so that was the appeal for me all right guys we have made it through this haul. <laughs> As mentioned before, I have so many things that I want to share with you. I just, yeah, we're just going to have to break it down one video at a time or else you guys would be sitting with me for hours and I don't want to take up your time like that. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.